Three weeks to go in the General Assembly session. A solution to the billion dollar projected budget deficit is now hitting a snag. Yeah, the governor and Democratic leaders want to bust through the state's spending cap, but that has some others saying, hang on a minute. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, live now with the latest on the budget battle. Mark? That's right. Hi, Darren and Sonia. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. When it comes to solving the state budget puzzle, there are basically just three issues. They are spending, how you define spending, and taxes. Cigarette smokers in Connecticut currently pay a state tax of $3.40 a pack, and today there was a call to hike that tax again. The poll results that we are releasing today demonstrate that increasing the cigarette tax by 95 cents is a no-brainer among voters in Connecticut. But since he raised the cigarette tax and just about every other state tax his first year in office, Governor Malloy says he does not support increasing any taxes at this time. So closing the billion-dollar budget deficit forecast for next year has become very tricky, especially when Malloy presumably has his eye on running for re-election next year. But to get his budget plan through the state Senate, Malloy must get lawmakers to approve breaking through the state spending cap. Twenty years ago, when Governor Weicker got the income tax approved, it was linked to a state constitutional amendment restricting state spending increases to inflation and personal income increases. Back when the spending cap was imposed, no one dreamed that it would prevent us or block us from getting our fair share of federal tax dollars back to Connecticut. As a result of uh, the introduction of Obamacare come January of next year, we'll be spending more as a state on uh, Medicaid, but 100 percent of that expense will be reimbursed by the federal government. The governor and the Democratic leadership don't want to call the increased federal spending on Medicaid an increase in state spending and thus exempt it from the spending cap. Changing the spending cap will allow for future spending increases which we cannot afford in the state of Connecticut. Changing the spending cap is one of the most significant votes that we're going to take. Now, breaking through the state spending cap requires a supermajority, 60% of those voting in the Senate. And none of the Republicans in the Senate will vote for it. That would mean all 22 Democrats would have to vote for it. And that may not happen. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.